Oh, of course I want the extra large burger and fries. Do I look like a monster to you? <laughs> I knew you'd come. I sense a darkness in you. It's in your nature to seek out danger and darkness. Don't deny it. And you are here for knowledge. Well, let me enlighten you. Oh, my old friend, Oswald. Huh. Oh, you might think he cuts a dashing figure in the dream world with his space shuttle armed with laser blasters and his mysterious eye patch. <laughs> what a joke. He's such a poser. In reality, Oz is a washed-up science teacher whose days are filled with snotty students making volcanoes out of baking soda and vinegar, and his nights are crammed with PTA meetings, microwave dinners, and getting his butt handed to him by me and the Nightmare King. You see, Oz hasn't exactly been doing a great job of training new recruits for, oh, I don't know, let's see now, uh, the past 20 years? <laughs> In fact, I heard he's only got this group of soon-to-be has-beens by accident. Sure. You know, that, that Zoe is impressive, but everyone else is a total dud. No wonder there's been calls for Oswald to step down as head of the Brooklyn branch of the Night Bureau. And yet Oswald thinks he's a good teacher, always telling his students to, to, to look at things from multiple perspectives. So lame! That's just Oswald's way of excusing failure. Hey, I'll let you in on a little secret. Every run-in with me and the Nightmare King throws Oz off his game. You could say the three of us have, uh, <laughs> history. I promise you, our victory over Oz and his band of rejects is a foregone conclusion. And not wanting his precious dream chasers to get hurt will be the key to Oswald's undoing! So now you know. And what are you gonna use that knowledge for? Something sinister, I bet. <laughs> Come back another time. You know you want to. Now. If you'll excuse me. Oh, and if you forget my spicy ketchup and zesty ranch sauce again, there will be punishment! <laughs> <laughs>